One of the most important lessons in life that you should know is to remember to have an attitude of gratitude, of humility. Understand where the gift comes from. It's not mine, it's been given to me. Use what I have, use what you have to help others. You know, on your last day, you can't take it with you. But you can leave it here. You'll never see a U-Haul behind a hearse. Without commitment, you'll never start. But more importantly, without consistency, you'll never finish. Keep working, keep striving, never give up, fall down seven times, get up eight. Ease is a greater threat to progress than hardship. So keep moving, keep growing, keep learning. See you at work. Small minds discuss other people. Gossip. Good minds discuss events. Great minds discuss ideas. Dreams without goals are just dreams and they ultimately fuel disappointment. So have dreams, but have goals. Life goals, yearly goals, monthly goals, daily goals. In order to achieve your goals, you must apply discipline and consistency. You have to work at it every day. You have to plan every day. Hard work works. I'm sure people have told you to make sure you have something to fall back on. Make sure you got something to fall back on, honey. But I never understood that concept. If I'm going to fall, I don't want to fall back on anything except my faith. I want to fall forward. Reggie Jackson struck out 2,600 times in his career, the most in the history of baseball. But you don't hear about the strikeouts. People remember the home runs. Fall forward. Thomas Edison conducted 1,000 failed experiments because the 1,001st was the light bulb. Fall forward. Every failed experiment is one step closer to success. Do you have the guts to fail? If you don't fail, you're not even trying. To get something you never had, you have to do something you never did. Imagine you're on your deathbed, and standing around your deathbed are the ghosts representing your unfulfilled potential. The ghost of the ideas you never acted on. The ghost of the talents you didn't use. And they're standing around your bed, angry, disappointed, and upset. They say, we came to you because you could have brought us to life, they say. And now we have to go to the grave together. So I ask you today, how many ghosts are going to be around your bed when your time comes? It's one thing to be hungry. It's another thing when you're starving for greatness and starving for success. I know what it's like to operate every single day, regardless of the success that I've been a lucky son of a bitch to achieve. I operate every day as if I'm starving. My number one competition is me. It's always you versus you. You got to be the one to get up every morning, be disciplined, put in the consistent daily hard work because that gains success. No coach, no trainer, no mentor, no boss can do it. You versus you. I hate plan B. Every thought that you put into plan B, you're taking away now that thought and that energy from plan A. I've never ever had a plan B. I made a full commitment that I'm going to go and be a bodybuilding champion. I made a full commitment that I'm going to be in America. I made a full commitment that I'm going to get into show business and I'm going to be a leading man. No matter what it takes, I will do the work. I will do the work over and over and over until I get it. Michael Jordan said in one of his interviews, when they said, you're unbelievable, you're the greatest basketball player of all times. Tell me about that. And he says, well, you're just mentioning the successes. But he says, for me to become the greatest basketball player, I missed 9,000 shots. Does it make him a failure? No. We all fail. It's okay. What is not okay is that when you fail, you stay down. And winners will fail and get up. Fail and get up. You always get up. That is a winner. Everybody's got a dream. Everybody's got a goal. What's the plan? And when you're trying to do something that you're truly passionate about, there is no plan B. Right. Think about that for a second. Michael Jordan won six NBA championships with the Chicago Bulls because he was committed to plan A, not plan B. Oprah Winfrey became the queen of all media because she was committed to plan A, not plan B. 
Plan B sucks. When you are complaining, you know what you're doing? You're focusing on everything that's wrong in your life. What you focus on, you move towards. Yep. And also what you focus on, you attract. So you're complaining, you know what you're doing? You're focusing on all the shit in your life. So you know what you become? You become a giant shit magnet. <laughs> you attract shit into your life. You focus on shit. You attract shit and don't do it, shit, right? Stop fucking complaining. You can take control of your life and be a person that's not a creature of service, a creator of your own life, creator of service, and that's the empowered way to live. Yeah.